Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm a part of the team at Faith City Mission. We're so excited to have you join us today. We will be highlighting one of our staff members, Carson. He is the director of our food services. And in just a minute, we're gonna to head to the kitchen and we're actually gonna to get to hear from Carson. We're gonna ask him some fun questions, get to know him, more about his story, what he does at Faith City, and what it takes to run a kitchen. We serve on average about 80,000 meals a year. And that can't happen without someone like Carson. And so in just a minute, we're gonna do that. But before we do, I just wanna take a minute and introduce Carson. He is a man of many gifts and talents and um, he grew up in Odessa, Texas. He has a background in civil engineering and writing computer software. He also is a chef, and he'll tell you more about that and how that came to be. He earned all of his knives and is now blessing our staff, student, and guests every day, day in and day out, three, day, three meals a day, six days a week. And we are so blessed to have Carson. And in just a minute, he's also gonna tell you about um, He's transitioning, his time at Face City is coming to a close and he's transitioning out. And we just wanna take a minute and say, we are so blessed to have Carson and we're gonna miss him. It's gonna be um, different without him, but we want to make sure that he knows that he is appreciated here, loved here, and we can't do this without him. So let's head to the kitchen and we'll hear more about, about it from him. Hi everybody, meet Carson. This is our Director of Food Services here at Face City Mission and he's gonna be telling us a little bit about what he does here at the mission. And as you can see, we're in the kitchen. We're coming live. And Carson is gonna tell us a little bit about his journey at the city mission. So Carson, tell us how um, you came to be on staff. Uh, well, I came to Faith City back in 2010. You know, I basically had just lost everything in my life and I needed a place to get my life back together. And I joined the program then in February of 2010. I uh, was in that four year. Then in March of 2011, I joined staff in an administrative position. And then a year later, approximately, I became food service director. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And can you tell us what a typical day looks like in the mission? Well, you know, I get into the kitchen kind of early, usually a little bit before six or a little bit after, and then I'm busy working on lunch starting there the students usually typically handle breakfast but i start on lunch cooking for lunch for everybody at about six o'clock in the morning and i do that until about lunchtime, and then i start on dinner and then i start doing that until uh, a little bit later afternoon and yeah usually my days here are about 10 hours so yeah uh, at least yeah and can you tell us how you became a chef well, I mean, I've never actually had any professional training in uh, culinary arts or anything like that. I've always been interested in it. It's always been kind of a hobby, and I've always sort of wanted to do it uh, professionally. And when the opportunity opened up here at Faith City, I kind of seized it and, you know, used it to get out of my comfort zone so I could try that, that new thing in my life and see how I liked it. That's awesome. And you've been here the last... Seven years. Yeah, seven years running the kitchen here. Blessing our staff and our students for three meals a day, uh, six yes. days a week. That's awesome. And what are the challenges that you face serving so many guests and students every day? Well, serving that many people, the challenges are mainly physical ones. You know, we our pantry is downstairs, and so in a typical day, I'm running up and down stairs uh, carting with myself or carrying myself a uh, hundred pounds of meat you know typically or 30 pound boxes of frozen vegetables or sometimes six cans at a time it's you know it's been a great physical challenge but it has uh, worked me up into, some, into shape so you know it, it's been a great opportunity for me to get back into shape physical shape And what do you consider to be one of your biggest successes here at Faith City Mission? Uh, one of my biggest successes, I think, would be able to feed as many people as I do and give them food that, that I would like to eat myself. You know, I don't cook anything that I would not eat myself. So I really like to see the smiles on the faces of the people that I serve day after day and, you know, really get love the opportunity to get to mentor the students here that I work with who, who help me out in the kitchen. So, what is your favorite meal that you've prepared? My favorite meal, well, the one that it seems to be liked by most people is my beef and spinach lasagna. Everybody seems to like that one. 
uh, and that's one that we do about once a month, about on the first Tuesday of every month. Um, everybody also likes my King Ranch macaroni. That's that's also a good one. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And what has your favorite thing been about Brand your time new. here with us at BC? Well, I mean, it's it's been sort of stressful, but I really do enjoy the opportunity to do like Thanksgiving meals and Christmas meals. It's when we have, when we are slammed, our kitchen is slammed with 300 people and we're preparing a turkey dinner with all the fixings and all the trimmings, you know, and get, getting to see all the people that would not have otherwise had a holiday meal be able to enjoy one. Wow. And that is just the most rewarding experience, I think. Yes. And so you will be leaving us actually within the next Unfortunately, month. yes. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your journey in the last couple of years and where you'll be moving to in the next couple of weeks. Okay, um, about in two years ago in January, I started in the uh, RN program at Amarillo College. You know, I thought it would be, I've always been interested in the healthcare field and, you know, I figured now was as good a time as any to try to jump into it. So I started with the, the RN program at Amarillo College and I'm about to graduate here in May. After that, I will be moving to uh, Lubbock. I got a job at UMC, which is the hospital right next to Texas Tech, and I'm going to be working in their uh, intensive care unit. So I'm not sure which unit yet, but I will get matched with the unit by the end of the summer wow. to work there. That's so awesome. Yeah. We are so thankful for Carson and what he has brought to the mission and what he has meant to the staff, students, and guests. And we're going to be very, very sad when he leaves us, but we're so excited for what God is doing in him and in his journey. So thanks for joining us today, Carson. No problem.